Hey YouTube and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just kind of wanted to do an update and my final thoughts on the RS2205S uh, Emacs motors. So as you know in my previous video I uh, was having some overheating issues and discovered that the windings were actually shorting out inside uh, to the stator uh, and I posted some stuff in RC groups and got some flack for that but needless to say that um, my testing was to confirm that the windings were actually shorting out so I did that and it's true. There's no way. I don't know what else, how else you would check for continuity. Uh, my digital meter is, it works for it. <laughs> I don't, some, some, some people have issues with the way I was testing it, but uh, apparently it worked for me and uh, what I did afterwards is I get contacted the reseller or the the company that sold me the motor and they promptly issued me a refund and I wanted a new motor sent to me well they issued the new motor However, it's been on back order now since my posting of my last video. So what I did is I just rewound the motor myself. Um, and this is my result of it. And I put it on the quad and it flew just fine. Um, uh, I ordered a another one from Amazon and received that and once I received it I was flying around on this motor just fine after I rewound it um, when I put the motor on and and just used it through beta flight it worked fine all four motors stayed relatively cool uh, they did get a little warm but not nearly as warm as as they did with this one with the bad windings So I was doing fine with that and once I received the new motor I put it on the quad and the heat issue went away. So my motors now if I run them with beta flight on the on on my desk they get a little warm. And I think the main issue with that is the amount of cooling from the fins inside and I apologize my focus isn't working uh, as you can see there's the fins in there and those are to pull the air and force it out these little vents in the side the issue that I see with that is, is that it's pulling from the center of the motor outwards. There's not a whole lot of space in here to get air through there. Um, I would think that, I don't know, maybe a different design somehow. However, leaving this much metal here adds to a lot of rigidity in the motors. And I'm going, I'll post some, some footage at the end of this video for you of what I think of or how they've been handing up, handling my amount of abuse that I give them. Um, so this is a spare motor now for me. And I'll uh, keep this one off to the side. And if, if all else fails, it's, it's extra parts. Um, 
know if I damage a bell on the other one or whatever. But I've been flying this thing around and it's been crashing. And as you can see, I got a broken prop there. <laughs> that was my last flight uh, yesterday. But I haven't had no issues with this frame at all. It's it's pretty durable. Um, yeah, I'm, so far I'm impressed with it. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up on that. And uh, now I'll throw up some footage and thanks for watching.